Debbie from gf2revolution.com. I get to do solo. I never do it by myself, so hopefully I get all the good stuff in there that you guys are looking for. It's day 35 of my insanity challenge, and I'm missing my accountability partner, uh, the love of my life, Coach John. But he actually he got sick over the weekend. He got a stomach virus, and it was really pretty bad. He got pretty dehydrated, and he wanted to do it today, guys. He really wanted to be here. He was trying. He like, slept all day, preparation, getting ready, but he just he's just not up for it. He's being smart, taking care of himself. Really, guys, the numbers wouldn't be accurate anyways because, you know, he hasn't been eating very well. He's been dehydrated, so what's he going to do? Do a fit test, and his numbers are not going to be anywhere near what they would be otherwise. Plus, he's going to tax his body, and that's not what you want to do. So if you're sick, take it off, guys, really, honestly. Fit test is really there to measure your progress. It's a, you know, it's a tool. It's not there to say, like, you know, I'm extreme, look at me. Even though that's what, that's how John views it most of the time, and you guys know that. But take, take the off day, do what you need to do. If you're up for the workout, you could try maybe the workout later. But if you're not well, don't do it. There's my plug. I got to get into this fit test before I talk myself out of it. Nervous about it. I got really like nauseous last time I did the fit test, I pushed really far, so hopefully this time I've built up and I'm ready to go. So we had the recovery week, so I feel like, oh my goodness, I haven't been training for this, but I know I have and I know my body's rested, so hopefully my numbers reflect that. So let's see. Uh, deep, That was a fit test. Um, my numbers weren't bad. They weren't as good as I wanted them to be. But after a recovery week and fighting the stomach bug around here, um, I can't be mad about it. Um, my numbers were really good in the beginning. And then I got to the power jumps. And after that, they kind of went downhill. I got the same or less on everything after that. So I did the best I could today. I still got max interval circuit um, to do after this. So I'm going to take a little break and then get into that. So stay tuned for that video. Okay. <laughs> 